Challenge South Africa project, delivered by Stoke City Football Club in partnership with Stoke on Trent College, aims to educate young people about the importance of equality and diversity, whilst also developing a range of social and personal skills, with the ultimate aim of making young people more employable. This year's project has a huge emphasis on sports coaching, giving young people the opportunity to deliver a range of sports in the deprived communities of Cape Town. Stoke and Trent College have been delivering the Challenge South Africa project for the last 13 years as part of the Cross College Enrichment Programme. I'm absolutely delighted that Stoke City Football Club are now on board to further enhance this community project for the young people in Stoke on Trent. So this is the second year that we've been involved with Challenge South Africa with Stoke on Trent College. The project gives opportunities to young people in Stoke on Trent um, to volunteer locally uh, and internationally in Cape Town. It's about developing their confidence, um, social and personal skills, with ultimately becoming employable. Uh, it also inspires ambition within the communities we work within Stoke on Trent and also in Cape Town. Um, the project's been brilliant over the last couple of years. Um, it's really, I've really seen a difference in some of the young people and volunteers that have been a part of it. The project aims to use the power of football and the brand of Stoke City to achieve a number of different aims. Uh, not only is it important to inspire ambition within the communities we work within Stoke-on-Trent, it's also important that we raise the profile of the club uh, internationally. This project's a great opportunity to get the brand of Stoke City uh, and the work we're doing locally uh, out there. Although it's the second year of our involvement, I've been aware of the project for the past eight years. Uh, a couple of our community coaches who are previously students of Stoke-on-Trent College uh, have been on the project and said it's changed their lives. I knew it was important for the club to get involved with such a project um, to, to make a difference to, to young people locally. Um, I just want to thank the volunteers who took part last year uh, and wish the volunteers this year all the best in the trip. It will be a trip of a lifetime. If it wasn't for the Premier League, this project wouldn't have happened. I want to thank them for the two-year funding that they provided. Uh, now it's our responsibility to look how we can sustain this project in South Africa for the long term. Through the Stoke City Community Trust NCS project, I apply for Challenge South Africa. After a five Challenge South Africa, we had a nine months journey leading up to going away. During the nine months leading up to Challenge South Africa, I gained confidence, leadership skills and teamwork. Whilst we were in South Africa, we coached in primary schools called Toffla. We did many activities like football matches for kicks and we also did a tournament as well for kicks. Before going away to South Africa, I wasn't a coach, I didn't have any experience, uh, I didn't know what to expect and when I went over there, completely changed my options, uh, ch changed my view on sports really. Since I've come back over the past 12 months, uh, I've improved. I've become a community apprentice for Stoke City Community Trust and now I'm going out to local communities and sports coaching. Um, it was just so fabulous last year. Last year we laid the foundations really for the work we're going to do and we started to make links with the primary school so I've met with the head teacher and we've been emailing backwards and forwards. We had little mini projects going on throughout the school including pen pals for our, for our children so this year when we go back we're just going to build on that and develop our links with the school, take it even further. It's just a, a country of extremes. You've got some really great, fabulous places and then some really heartbreaking places. It's a really fascinating country. The diversity is just incredible. It's a, it's a wonderful place. Everybody should go, I think. Two years ago, I went to Uganda to teach there and it was one of the best experiences I've had in my life. Um, and I just felt like the impact that I had over there in the community was really positive. And I feel like this opportunity is going to be even better because this time I'll have a chance to impact upon the children here as well and raise their international awareness. I'm hoping we'll see a lot of the culture um, and have an impact on their community. So I know that we're going to be going and helping out in the, with the homeless and also with the AIDS projects and also doing a bit of teaching hopefully as well. It's a great opportunity for our children here um, to learn from our experience over in South Africa so I'm hoping that what we learn when we're out there we can bring back here to our school and help the children to really learn and gain from our experiences really. I think it'll be um, great for them, they'll get to learn about our culture here in the UK, they'll get to learn um, things from us about our way of life as well, um, they'll get to learn some of our language as well so it'll be really good for them because they might not get the opportunity to come here to the UK mm -hmm. so in a way we might be you know the next best thing because we can go over to them.